see the little mermaid in these streets. Are you picking up what I'm putting to you? Because you look like a beautiful nightmare. Don't you know? Hello, honeys. Welcome back to my channel. I am here with another one from Sunbur Hair. We've been building a little relationship. We had, you know, we had a little bit of breakfast together, a little lunch, a little dinner. And then we kind of here for a nightcap. I am here with another one from Sunbur Hair. Um, I'm going to be honest, the Auburn Red got me in a chokehold this summer, y'all. Like a big one. I don't know about y'all. How y'all been feeling about color this summer? Because me, oh, look at my underarms. <laughs> <laughs> me and this auburn red honey look at her a chokehold do you hear me an absolute positive chokehold so i'm coming through with the v part obviously i told y'all i wasn't doing no more v parts but let me be for real this is how much of a chokehold these these auburn units have me in i had to do it like i had to do it this unit is 24 inches of love, sex, and magic. Now, she's super light. Like, I'm feeling her nails. She feels super light, which I, I'm into that. I'm into that. Um, it's a body wave unit, body wave V-part wig. It has four clips at the top. One, two, three, four. These are metal clips. One metal clip in the middle. Two uh, combs on the side and one in the back. Adjustable straps. What kind of forever, okay? So... This unit is currently going for $290, but they got just about everything on here to make sure you can get this Mimi Tatum wig, okay? They even said, do you want us to bill your baby daddy or your sugar daddy? Because we could bill him, send it to him, send him the bill, and then get you right together, boo, okay? Because they going to make sure y'all have affordable human hair or expensive human hair for an affordable price, okay? They're going to find a way. So I'm just going to go on through. I'm already out here natural. I want to see what it's going to look like in the middle part of me wants to do it on the side what y'all think we gonna give a middle part i'm gonna give him a middle part today okay because i want to show just how easy it is i'm not going to leave i'm trying my best not to leave out too much hair because i came with the crunch and munch and i feel like my hair is on its way to that that might even be too much hair There you go. Yeah, like the beautiful thing about these V-part wigs is that the netting is so nice on it, like that mesh, that you can get, you can leave out just an itty bitty amount of hair and it should do the trick. So I think that'll be good. All right, my loves, let's take on into this Sun Burr Hair Reddish Brown V-part wig. So I'm just going on through and getting Mother all the way together, tacking her on down. Now, this unit is really, really nice. She's at 150% density. I have her in 24 inches, and she's currently going for just about $290. I know, Andrea, I know, okay? She is a little bit expensive for a V-part wig, but they got all the pays, so do not worry. You can get this unit for four easy payments broken down, okay? I'm just going on through and doing a classic way to install your v-part wig and we're just going to make sure that we get this mother jumper all the way together i'm going right on through with my babyless wand curlers okay like i always do and getting mother together i really am about to start a fund for my dyson air wrap because the way i just be curling hair up child i'm gonna get carpal tunnel okay <laughs> i need to really really get it together so i'm just making sure i go on through now she does have a dark root it's not as long as i would like it to be to give more of like a face framing dark root so that my hair could blend a little bit better but she is really really cute and the color is really nice it's giving that auburn color that i really really love and i'm just going on through again and just curl them up at once okay it's been about a week i um had this unit for about a week and i have been thinking about it thinking about it and i was like you know what there's got to be a better way for us to do this unit where she looks more seamless so i figured i would try the crochet method with you guys for the first time i've never done it before so i'm just going to go on through and do that i'm gonna shut my meme tape mouth and get this wig together and then i'm gonna see you guys on the other side we can talk about it Yes, I did just interrupt your regularly scheduled Mimi Tate and Wig video, okay? Just so I could do some freak stuff with this daggone wig. So 
I have been taking a look at the crochet method. I'm not a fan. I'm just going to say that out the bat, it's not something that I'm a huge fan of because I believe that if a wig has a certain technology, you should just be able to wear it the way they say that you should wear it. You shouldn't have to do all of this work. Okay. However, however, I did want to try this because this unit has a specific color and I kind of wanted to see if we can get a more seamless look. So I'm just going on through and adding just four braids to the top of my head because these are going to be what we use to crochet this unit on in. Okay. Now, like I said, this is something that I'm trying out. I'm very, very new to this and I'm going to give you guys like really my real feelings about how this turned out. I'm not, um, a thousand percent on this technique and or how this came out and i have one big reason and that's because this particular hair texture is not meant to be crocheted in this manner you can do it it could be it could look like something but do you want it to look the way you want it to look you understand you picking up what i'm putting down so i'm just using a crochet needle and i'm actually grabbing the hair and pulling it right on through the braid and looping it over so what i'm gonna do is continue that pattern yes i got right up and close on your mammy tapping ass and i am hitting it with my wine curler to kind of lay it flat so i'm just taking a portion of the hair okay putting it through the loop and then flipping it right on over now this technique did end up working i just prefer it on curlier hair okay are you picking up what i'm putting down i just think that it's supposed to be on curlier hair to give a more flawless application this worked out thank god but i just don't think this is what v parts are meant to be and that's just the mammy tatum truth i think that you're supposed to just go in rock her as is and yeah that's just how i feel but i'm gonna co i'm committed so i'm just going on through and making sure i get this one together I, like i said i take the first two tracks and i kind of portion them out and then that's the hair that i use to go on through the braid okay with my crochet needle and loop it on over so i'm going on through pulling it right on through and looping over okay and then what i'm going to do is use my wine curler again just to flatten out the top and get mama all the way together I did the crochet method. Um, do I like it? I get it. I understand why people do it, especially because this is a colored V-part wig. So it kind of gives me like that invisible part look that I don't really love, but I don't hate it right now in this moment. So I'm kind of actually glad that I took the time to do this and try it out. I do think it would be better on a unit that is curly. I have another unit that I'm going to review after this one that I'm definitely going to do it on that one because it's a curlier unit and it kind of hides the imperfections. When it's straight, it's a little bit harder. Um, however, it's still kind of cute, huh? <laughs> however, it's still kind of cute. My edges are not done, so do not look be looking don't be looking too hard or whatever the case may be but i actually kind of like it and if my if i honestly braided this tighter the reason why i can't get my braids too tight is because my nails are uh, stiletto nails so i can't grip like i want to but it's still working out and i'm kind of into this like i really really am i'm gonna bust back to my original review so you can see how i felt about this initially and i see beautiful mother Jones. so do i wish this was kinky yes because my hair is very 4c okay and sometimes she acted funny and today might be one of them i didn't really put any i tried to put as much heat protectant in as possible um i think that the texture of this hair is really pretty i love the v part i kind of wish the darkness came down a little maybe a little teeny weeny bit more i did cut a bit of layers into her but that's just to give her more of a realistic feeling with this unit the color of this hair is really really pretty but y'all already know that because we are into the auburn look nowadays let me know what y'all think are y'all feeling colored hair now is it the season we coming oh never mind i was about to say to so put us in a whole nother season child i'm not even gonna speak it into existence because we taking our time to get to uh fall okay we're gonna take our mammy taking time i'm kind of into this let me turn around you guys tell me if you can see my tracks in the back 
Okay, I just went through with my Andy straightening comb and my baby Liswan curler and just kind of gave her a little bit of love sex and magic i did leave a little bit more hair out around the perimeter but that's because i really wanted to give her like um more dark roots she she's a little bit all burned around the um the face and i kind of wanted to give her a little bit more dark root and i think it makes it look a lot 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 better okay and what will make this look even more better is if it was kinky if it was kinky it would be so far so on point like so we need to hit on point it's not even funny um yeah what do you guys think i like it though i'm not gonna lie and i'm probably gonna rock her all day and all night i like her a lot actually <laughs> but i just um i just recognize that i like things to look a little bit more polished and i think she is polished but y'all picking up what i'm putting down right like is it me y'all picking it up i know y'all know what i mean okay She's a vibe. I kind of brushed her out the way. I think it looks a lot better that way. And more polished. Like, I want it to look. Y'all know I got like an aesthetic I be going through for all the time. And, oh yeah, this is cute. Let me see. Oh yeah, mother is cute. Oh yeah. So it's much you can do with her. We love a V part. I'm not gonna lie, I've been trying to stay away from V parts, but if my truth is that I love them, it's just that my hair needed a bit of a break and still kind of does, but I'm into this. I like the color. I think she's kind of giving love, sex, and magic right now. And we can get into that, okay? I'm, I'm trying to be the little mermaid in these streets. Are you picking up what I'm putting to you? Hello? So if you have not already, do me a favor, bust down, subscribe to this Mimi Tatum channel. Let me know how you feel about this. The color, how do, don't you feel like it should come down a little bit more in the dark roots? And that might be because I feel like if I had shorter hair at the top, it would be better. But the longer your hair is, the harder it is to kind of, it wouldn't, when it's the color to kind of get it uniform, I feel like. So bust down, subscribe to this Mimi Tatum channel. Tell me how you guys are feeling about this because I'm feeling it and I'm feeling myself. And I'll see you beautiful mother jumpers later. Thanks, Sunbird Hair.